Picture this, a dimly lit room, the warm glow of a flickering television screen casting dancing shadows across your eager face. The year is 1975, and you're about to embark on a journey that will forever change your weekends. As the iconic jingle of Saturday Night Live fills the airwaves, you find yourself transported to a realm of irreverent humor, sharp wit, and unapologetic satire. Do you remember that first encounter with the unpredictable chaos of SNL? The uproarious laughter that caught you off guard, the clever skits that left you gasping for breath, and the undeniable charm of the not ready for prime time players. Perhaps it was Gilda Radner's infectious energy, John Belush's audacious antics, or Chevy Chase's legendary pratfalls that etched themselves into your memory. From the razor-sharp political commentary to the absurd characters that lingered in your thoughts long after the curtain closed, SNL has been more than just a show, it's been a cultural touchstone, a mirror to society, and a source of timeless amusement. And as the years rolled on, the show continued to evolve, introducing new talents, pushing boundaries, and somehow managing to stay as relevant as ever. But let's dive deeper, shall we? Beyond the laughter and applause lies a trove of intriguing facts about SNL that might surprise even the most devoted fan. From unexpected cameos to behind-the-scenes dramas, the show's history is a tapestry woven with threads of creativity, controversy, and camaraderie. So, buckle up for a journey through time as we unearth some random and riveting tidbits that showcase the magic behind those iconic Studio 8H doors. Because every sketch, every catchphrase, and every unforgettable moment has a story. A story that has made Saturday Night Live not just a show, but a phenomenon. And now, without further ado, let's peel back the curtain on some lesser-known facts about SNL that will have you nodding in agreement, chuckling knowingly, and marveling at the sheer brilliance of it all. Saturday Night Live, commonly known as SNL, is a groundbreaking American television series that premiered in 1975. Created by Lorne Michaels, the show was conceived as a live sketch comedy and variety program. SNL quickly gained popularity for its innovative format, showcasing a blend of comedy sketches, musical performances, and celebrity guest appearances. The show's origin lies in the desire to offer a fresh, satirical take on current events and culture. SNL is renowned for introducing iconic characters such as the bumbling and lovable Coneheads, the irreverent Blues Brothers, and the unforgettable Wayne's World duo. The show's cast, including comedy legends like John Belushi, Dan Aykroyd, Gilda Radner, and Chevy Chase, played an integral role in shaping its unique style. Characterized by its edgy and often boundary-pushing humor, SNL has consistently been at the forefront of satire, addressing social and political issues in a humorous yet thought-provoking manner. Its weekend update segment became a signature element, providing a platform for humorous news commentary. This blend of sharp satire, unforgettable characters, and live energy set SNL apart. SNL's impact on popular culture is undeniable. The show has launched the careers of numerous comedians and actors, influencing generations of comedic talent. Its sketches, catchphrases, and characters have seeped into everyday conversations and continue to shape comedic sensibilities. Moreover, SNL has managed to remain relevant by evolving with the times, staying responsive to cultural shifts and political developments. With a legacy spanning decades, SNL has cemented its place as a cultural institution that reflects, critiques, and celebrates the ever-changing landscape of American society. Its ability to entertain, provoke, and unite through humor has made it a beloved staple of television history. Random facts about SNL, the show has won over 70 Emmy Awards since its inception. Eddie Murphy holds the record for hosting the show the most times by any individual. The famous catchphrase live from New York, It's Saturday Night, opens every episode. The show's guest hosts have ranged from politicians to athletes, showcasing its diverse appeal. The original cast of SNL is often referred to as the not ready for prime time players. James Downey, a pillar of wit behind SNL's curtain in the annals of comedy history, a name often whispered with reverence is that of James Downey. A quiet architect of laughter, he penned sketches that became etched in the cultural fabric of Saturday Night Live. As the longest-serving writer, next only to the iconic Lorne Michaels, 
Jones. Downey's journey through the SNL decades paints a picture of devotion, turmoil, and resilience. Across an astounding span of 30 seasons, Downey's typewriter clacked away, birthing sketches that tickled ribs and pushed boundaries. His tenure wasn't without tempests, though. In the pivotal year of 1980, a seismic shift rattled SNL, prompting Downey's departure alongside Michaels in the ensemble cast. But resilience flowed in his veins, he returned in later years, fortifying SNL's comedic arsenal. The path to laughter isn't always a smooth one. In 1998, Downey found himself severed from the SNL realm by the hand of NBC executive Don Olmeyer. Yet, Downey's comedic spirit remained unscathed. After a sabbatical to pen a book, he emerged stronger, rejoining the raucous ranks of SNL until his well-deserved retirement in 2013. Amid the comedic crescendos, Downey's legacy is a testament to perseverance and creativity. His penmanship brought life to characters and absurdities that, even today, resonate with audiences. The pages he etched are a chapter in the storied tome of SNL, proving that behind every punchline lies a dedicated mind, one named James Downey. Norm MacDonald's unexpected departure from Saturday Night Live shrouded in controversy in the annals of television history. Few moments have been as surprising and polarizing as Norm MacDonald's abrupt departure from Saturday Night Live during the 1997-1998 season. Contrary to the uproarious laughter he induced as the host of Weekend Update, MacDonald's exit was far from jovial, spurred by the insistence of NBC executive Don Olmeyer. Olmeyer, asserting that MacDonald was not funny, wielded his executive power to unseat the comedian from his coveted seat at the Weekend Update desk. But Olmeyer's rationale wasn't the sole ingredient in the stew of speculation. Rumors swiftly spread that his decision was fueled by personal affiliations, particularly his friendship with the controversial figure, O.J. Simpson. MacDonald's barbed jests about Simpson's legal saga were whispered to have struck too close to Olmeyer's home. The caustic humor that endeared MacDonald to his audience had seemingly found an adversary in the NBC executive suite. Yet, MacDonald himself offered a measured perspective, maintaining that his ousting wasn't tethered solely to the Simpson matter. In the aftermath of his departure, the comedian dismissed the notion that Olmeyer's relationship with Simpson bore the full weight of his dismissal. In doing so, MacDonald illuminated the intricate web of creative differences and corporate dynamics that swirled beneath the glitzy surface of live television. Amid the aftermath of MacDonald's exit, one cannot help but reflect on the intricate tapestry that is Saturday Night Live. This venerable institution, born in 1975, has seen its fair share of cast members, hosts, and musical guests cross its stage. Among them, Michael McKean and Dan Aykroyd stand as singular figures, the only individuals to have traversed the traffic of roles within the show's storied history. As the years unfold, the saga of Norm MacDonald's departure remains enshrined in television lore, a case study in the synergy of humor, power, and personalities. It serves as a testament to the layers beneath the laughter, the interplay of artistic vision and corporate influence that underscore the creation of every comedic sketch and every unforgettable moment on the iconic Saturday Night Live stage. Steve Martin's remarkable hosting record on Saturday Night Live in the annals of Saturday Night Live. Certain names burn brighter than others, and among them stand Steve Martin and Tina Fey. These two luminaries share an exceptional distinction that etches their names into the show's history, hosting a season premiere, a season finale, and a Christmas special. But beyond this shared accolade, it is Martin who claims an even rarer honor, having hosted three times within a single season, a feat untouched by any other. In the electric atmosphere of Studio 8H, Martin's comedic virtuosity became a fixture of the show's early years. His razor-sharp wit and innovative absurdity left an indelible mark, earning him recurring invitations to helm the SNL stage. Yet, the zenith of his hosting journey arrived during the show's fourth season, where he pushed boundaries by headlining a staggering three times in a single season. This unprecedented achievement underscores Martin's status as a comedic pioneer, and cements his legacy within the SNL narrative. His quicksilver performances, infused with irreverence and surrealism, endeared him to both live and television audiences. A testament to the enduring magic of Saturday Night Live, 
Martin's triumph shines brightly alongside the show's myriad iconic moments. In the kaleidoscopic tapestry of Saturday Night Live, Steve Martin's hosting exploits illuminate a singular journey of laughter, innovation, and boundary-breaking. As the show continues its storied run, his legacy remains a testament to the power of comedic genius in the heart of late-night television. John Goodman's Audition, a glimpse into SNL history in the vibrant tapestry of Saturday Night Live's history, an intriguing thread weaves through its iconic legacy. John Goodman, recognized for his robust presence and acting prowess, stands as a testament to the show's far-reaching impact. Long before becoming a familiar face as a frequent guest host, Goodman's journey with SNL began in a quieter corner of its narrative. Back in 1980, as Goodman embarked on his early steps in the world of acting, he stood before the audition panel, vying for a spot on the SNL stage. The same Goodman we came to know, though not yet a household name, showcased his potential. Fate, however, played its role differently at the time. The spotlight, for that moment, was elusive. Undeterred, Goodman continued honing his craft, amassing a repertoire of roles that would eventually catapult him to recognition. SNL, ever watchful for talent that sparkles, didn't forget. Goodman, with his boisterous charm and versatile abilities, eventually emerged as a recurring guest host, etching his mark into the show's lore. The story of John Goodman is more than just an anecdote. It's a reflection of SNL's keen eye for raw talent and its role in shaping careers. As he returned time and again, his journey from auditionee to celebrated host became a testament to persistence and the ever-evolving tapestry of showbiz. In the annals of Sunny Night Live, John Goodman's path from a hopeful audition to a revered guest host is a chapter that underscores the show's ability to both discover and celebrate talent, weaving the unpredictable threads of the entertainment as we bid world adieu, into the spotlight narrative. dims on the vibrant stage of nostalgia, where the laughter and music of the past still resonate. Just like the colorful skits that grace the canvas of Saturday Night Live, our own lives are a mosaic of moments, each a brushstroke in the grand tapestry of memory. Whether you found solace in the uproarious antics of the comedians or tapped your feet to the rhythm of the musical guests, SNL became more than a show. It became a companion through the ebbs and flows of time. In the realm of SNL, the characters were both scripted and real, as they mirrored our own quirks and idiosyncrasies. Like a comedy mirror reflecting back at us, the show often held up a funhouse mirror to society, showing us the humor and absurdity in the world around us. It's in those shared moments of laughter that we discover our common humanity. As you look back on the skits, characters, and unforgettable moments, perhaps you're transported to a specific instant in time when the jokes were just a bit too relatable or the satire struck a chord. These recollections are like vintage wines, growing richer with each retelling. Your journey with Saturday Night Live is unique, a treasure trove of emotions and experiences that only you possess. So, here's an invitation, a gentle nudge to take a moment and share the tales of your favorite sketches, the inside jokes you've carried with you, and the memories that still elicit a chuckle or a smile. As we close this curtain, we extend a heartfelt gratitude for the time you've spent reminiscing and exploring the world of SNL. Your connection with the show adds a new layer to its storied history, infusing it with your perspective and making it even more vivid. Thank you for delving into the charm and charisma of Saturday Night Live, for letting its humor echo in your laughter and for allowing its melodies to dance in your thoughts. Your presence has illuminated this discussion with your unique light, making it a conversation worth cherishing. Until the next tale unfolds, keep those memories close, and may your laughter continue to resonate through the corridors of time. Stay curious, stay vibrant, and keep sharing those treasured SNL memories.